So you might not be able to read that, but this is a good, quite a good example of a first reminder. I'm sorry um, to note that you have not, we have not received your payment of you know, £700, £800, whatever the number is, uh, which was due on whatever date it was due on. I hope there's a simple explanation for this, and I would like you to contact me on and give the, the phone number or email address as soon as possible. If you are currently experiencing financial difficulties, please also contact me. I prefer to work with my tenants, um, but can only offer to do so if they talk to me. Look forward to hearing from you. So quite a gentle one, quite brief. And here is a, a second reminder. So after perhaps seven days, uh, I'm disappointed to note that you have still not received a payment of X amount um, that was due on a particular date. You've also not contacted me as per my first reminder that was sent on. I hope there's a simple explanation for this and I would like you to contact me on to explain as soon as possible. Um, as you are now over 14 days late with your rent payment, we are entitled to charge interest on the late, on the late payment of rent. At this time of writing, it means that you owe X, uh, and for additional days, it means that you owe an additional X amount of money. If you do not contact me to arrange payment, I may have to consider taking whatever legal steps necessary to regain vacant possession of my property. I very much hope that this action will not be necessary, but it can only be avoided by you paying the outstanding amount and any future rent payments on a regular basis in the future. Look forward to hearing, you, hearing from you within seven days. So just a couple of examples how you might want to communicate with your tenants.